Welcome, hello. No, not does not go in there yet. I'll let you know when, okay? Today it's kind of rainy, cold, chilly, flat outside. I love the clouds, I love the rain, but it's kind of hard to play in when you're that sized. So, at least without becoming a big major mud I'm ball. Talk on this one. Yeah, you can talk. In your packets, you have a green, mine's white, you have a green recipe for Lenten soft pretzels. In your packets, you also have a packet of yeast. One of these two brands, I kind of bought from both. You're gonna need these for the pretzels. I don't know if it's a made up tradition or not, but it's kind of a fun story that the pretzel was invented during Lent as a way to have a snack or a treat for the catechism students or Sunday school students because it doesn't involve sugar or the buttery fatty oils and a lot of the other stuff that people gave up during Lent traditionally. So what we're gonna do, it says preheat your oven. Our oven is going. It says mix your yeast, one packet, water, sugar, and salt in a large bowl. Um, this one's not tearing very easy. I'm gonna try to tear this one. I don't have scissors nearby me. It doesn't say dump the flour in yet. No flour. In a minute, you'll have your time. It says warm water, one and a half cups of warm water. Um, the yeast needs that to kind of wake up and start doing its chemical reaction. We're gonna put that in there, but you don't want it boiling hot. That's too hot, okay? It says a teaspoon of salt. You wanna be careful not to mix your teaspoons. You wanna dump? William? There's the teaspoon. That's actually a half teaspoon. Dump it. And let's scoop another one up. Just not a flour yet. It says one teaspoon, so we have two halves. And then it says a tablespoon of sugar. Now you wanna be careful not to mix up your sugar and your salt. I did that once in a jello recipe. It was terrible. So as a result, wait, 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 wait. I usually buy the pink sea salt so I can tell the difference between wait, my salt wait, and my wait, sugar. Wait, 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 nope. wait, wait. We're all done with that. We're gonna stir that around a little bit. The reason you I use a little so bit good. of sugar is because that's what the yeast eat. Um, all right, we're gonna be sleeping later. Please do not throw the salt, the flour. Can you pour our mixture into our bowl? It's so heavy. It is a little heavy, you want me to do that part? No. You wanna do it? Pour. You're kind of making a mess. All right, try to pour that. Pour. The next step says four cups of flour. You wanna make sure you have enough flour before you start the recipe, because that's kind of rough to get halfway through and not have enough. All right, dump that. And I'm gonna actually say four cups seems like a lot. Are you dumping? Yeah, yeah. Um, we made a previous batch and there was a lot of extra flour. Okay, now stir it. Left in the bowl. Um, so even three and a half cups might work just fine for this recipe. All right, when you're ready, here's another cup to dump. Good stirring. Yep, you stir nice and slow. Okay, let's stir some of that in there. That's our second cup. And you're starting to slosh. Here. Stop it. It's okay. Pour the next one. Yeah, all right. Whoa, I started to slosh. The dough, you're gonna notice, the dough gets kind of flaky once you stir everything together. Um, and we're gonna add more flour. 
because it said four cups and we only have three cups in there. So we're gonna throw that part in. All right. Oh, yes it is. I see it smells good enough to eat. Now that it's all together, one of the tricky parts, it says knead the dough until it's smooth. Um, usually we don't eat the raw flour, buddy. Mm. Kneading is where you do it with your hand and you kind of punch and roll and punch and you're gonna get all those flaky parts to form and together. To get out. Into, well, I need to get it a little bit closer. All right. Mm. Hit it. Mm. Yeah, that's how you knead, sometimes a little more gently. And you want to fold it over and then knead that side. Punch it. No, we're not eating it right now. We're punching it. You do this for a few minutes. And when your dough is ready and it's nice and smooth, you're going to kind of pull, stretch, pull, stretch it into long ropes. These ropes are going to get rolled or shaped into the pretzel shape. Now, Whoa. the pretzel shape is a little tricky to get. Um, this is really big, soft, chunky dough. So what I did was I just crossed it at the top like that, so it's kind of like a fish, and you can leave it as a fish. Whoops, <laughs> it doesn't like being in the air like that. Ooh. Ooh, lots of dough, you need more flour on your hands, not licking. Please do not eat the dough as you make it. It's not great for you, and your family members probably don't want to eat it if that's the case. All right, we're gonna hide the rest of this dough. Where'd my bowl go? So, as I was saying, Forming your pretzel, you could leave it a long rope. You could make it into a fish. Remember, uh, the fish was an early symbol of Christianity. You could turn it into a heart. But once I get this fish shape, then I take the fish tail part and I flop it onto the head. And that will make your pretzel shape. Now, the reason this was developed for Lent is twofold. I told you, one, it doesn't have a lot of the super sugary, chocolate, yummy ingredients that a lot of people give up during Lent, but also it was to remind them to pray, to cross their arms and pray. And that's where you get the pretzel shape, is the arms folded in prayer. So I hope you have a chance to enjoy these. I am going to show you the ones we did before because that's our timer going off and out of the oven this is hot you can see all right some of these on here it says an egg you want to whip an egg and that's for the coating we did that on these three you don't have to you can leave it plain it also says, Alexa, stop. It also says to sprinkle it with salt. Now, coarse salt works a little bit better on your pretzels than our normal table salt. Honestly, any kind of salt will work. If you wanna do a sweet one, if you wanna do cinnamon sugar, or if you wanna do a garlic one and you have garlic powder, you can explore with the toppings that you sprinkle on the pretzels. Woohoo! This is gonna be fun to clean up. Yes. Remembering that we learned about responsibility yes. last month, please make sure that yes. you kind of clean up after your yes. messes. Are you gonna be Yoshi? Yes. Yoshi, Yoshi? Yeah, all right. Bye guys, I hope you have fun baking and trying out your pretzel recipe. Talk to you later. Bye.